Okay, let's go ahead and reconcile the month of November. We're going to start with our credit cards. Alright, make sure that's selected. Right here, our ending balance. Ending date. Okay, finance charges. Let's see, do we have any? Uh, we have interest charge. Potentially, we could enter it right here and see an interest finance charge. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, once we proceed and complete reconciliation, this will become an entry, right? So we want to make sure we understand it. So what's happening here? Well, this account, 61700 right, right here, interest and finance charges, it will be debited because they go up, like expenses go up when debited. What else has happened? Well, this expense, this amount, will be added to our credit card balance, right? Therefore, 21100 will go up, and being a liability, it goes up when it is credited. So here it is. Even though we're entering it once right here, right? It is both a debit and a credit. It is a debit to account 61700 and it is a credit to account 21100. Okay, let's start our reconciliation. Okay. So you can see that the finance charge is already marked right here. So we can go ahead and mark it as well. Okay, so we have our transactions right in. Hmm. We have our payments right here. And then we're missing these two transactions, right? So, so we just got to find what happened to these two transactions, right? I mean, we could just go ahead and book it, but I have very clear recollection that we put this. So let's go ahead and look for them, right? So to find that, let's start with our expense module, right? It's probably one of the easiest ones. Oh, here they are, right? They're showing up right here. So what's happening? Let's click on them to make sure we understand it. Uh-oh. Payment date. Yep. I mean, even though we were booking in live mode simulation, it wasn't really live mode. So it messes with our dates occasionally. So we got to make sure that that's correct because, again, it doesn't show up in our reconciliation because the date, the payment date, falls outside. So we got to make sure we correct it. So let's match it to the bank. Okay, so here it is, 15803, so 1117, 1117, 2020. Okay, save and close. Yes. All right. And what about the other one right here? While we're here, might as well take a look. Oh, here it is. Same thing, date, right? So remember this, when you book in transactions, if your date is outside of the reconciliation period, that transaction will not show up on your reconciliation module. So you'll have to look for it and then make the correction so it shows up in your reconciliation. That's what we're doing. So in this case, again, it's, uh, let's match it just to the statement, 1115. Okay, save and close, yes. All right, so let's go back to our reconciliation. Okay. Oh, here they are. Right? Here are our transactions. And the reason they didn't show up is because, again, the date was off. So now what happened to our um, reconciliation interface? Okay, we're back in business, right? The wonderful QuickBooks Online. You're hostage to your internet connection. Anyway, <laughs> here they are, right? These accounts, 
they're showing up right here again you can see that accounts payable is being impacted when they're clearing right very important element so let's go ahead and mark those and we're at zero right that's what we want that means we did everything correctly even though we made a couple of mistakes and the date was off but we found them right and we brought them to correct reconciliation so we're going to go ahead and um, finish it now okay we already paid so we're good all right so we're good all right and now we can go ahead and again look at the um, Okay, our reconciliation report right here. Here's our reconciliation report. Again, um, you can see that all transactions are here. Our payment is right here. Our transactions are here. Okay, our charges so right here. We're good to go. We're done reconciling our credit card statement for the month of November. Okay, let's go ahead and reconcile our bank statement for the month of November. Here we are. All right, let's make sure we select our bank statement right here. Ending balance. Okay. All right, do we have any fees? We have our monthly service fee and merchant account fee. Okay, so in this case, we only can enter one expense, but that's fine. Let's just enter the $25. Okay, bank service fee. Again, let's make sure we know the debits and credits behind it. What's happening? Well, they are going to take that $25 out of our bank account. Bank account being an asset, it has to be credited in order to be reduced. What else is happening? Well, our bank service fees right here, right, that's an expense. Expenses go up when debited. All right, here we are. This amount, even though it's entered once, it is both a debit to account 61600 and it is a credit to account 11100. So we're good. We can go ahead and start our reconciliation. All right, what do we have? So we have our draw transfer to personal, excellent. We have some of our deposits, okay. All right, very good. So far, so good. Um, I got this payment. Got the draw for 350. Got the two and a half right here. Okay, got some more of those deposits right here. Excellent. So far, so good, right? We want to get to that zero. We want to get to that zero. Okay. What else is happening? All right. Uh oh, we're still off, right? We marked everything we had available, but we're still off. That's okay. We still have a couple items here. Well, the $25 is right here, so we can mark that off. But we still have the merchant account fee, right? That's the amount of money the bank charges us for processing our credit card payments from our customers. And since we didn't book it, we didn't know the amount until we got our statement, which is common, so we have to book it now during the reconciliation module. What else? Oh, well, the check. We printed some checks, but this one doesn't show up. I wonder why. Something happened. Was it maybe booked in the wrong period of time or something else we're going to look for it so a couple of things right so first let's do the easy one so we're going to book the journal entry all right so 28 correct merchant fee all right so what's happening well we know that it reduces our bank account that much right so here it is that's the money they took out from our bank account for processing those credit card payments. Okay, so our expenses on merchant fees went up. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. We can also show it here just to solidify the knowledge. Okay, bank account balance is reduced. It's an asset, therefore it has to be credited to be reduced. 
what else is happening? Our expense is going up, in this case, merchant account fees. Here it is, debits and credits are in balance, and in this interface it's very easy to see. We're good. Save and new. Oh, here it is, right? Still off by this check. Where is it and why it's not showing up? So again, we know one of the simplest way to go to look for it is to go to our expense. If we don't find it there, then we can look for it. Okay, 391. Oh, 391 and 35 right here. Oh, the date, shoot. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, see, the date. We're off a little bit again. Happens. Typical mistake. Nothing unusual. Again, that's why we do reconciliation. We want to catch those mistakes and correct them. So let's set it to the clearance date. Good. Check number is still good. Okay. Save and new. Alright. So we're going to go back to our reconciliation. Multiple ways to do it. Could essentially click back. All right, and here it is. All right, we correct the date. Again, remember, if transaction is not showing up for some reason in your reconciliation, there's a good chance that you booked it outside of the time period. If it is booked outside of the time period, it will not show up, so you've got to look for it and make sure it has the correct date like what we just did. So here it is. All right, make sure we mark that. Mark that. We're at zero, right? That's what we want. Let's view our reconciliation report. Here it is. We would print it, attach to the statements. Again, correct, balance correct, transactions correct. Okay, all is there. Awesome. We're good to go, right? We would print it, attach it to the statement, and that would complete reconciliation of our credit card and our bank account.